Hi everyone, Forsythia with Cacti on White and welcome to my channel. Doing a quick video to share with you guys my new acquisition, which is a Euphorbia pugniformis. If you watch one of my um, videos from a couple of weeks back, I was in Pasadena, California. I had been at the Cactus and Succulent Society of America plant sale and show and on my way out of Pasadena, I stopped at uh, California Cactus Center. I saw a beauty of a specimen of this plant, but it was cost prohibitive. So I went out on a search for my own. I'll pop the video in here where you guys can see um, you know, my trip there and when I noticed this plant and it was, again, it was very expensive. So I set out to find one and I did. So I'm sharing it with you guys. Whoa, look at this guys. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. I like the weirdo different ones. Little, little, no price though. It has an M. So let's go see what M. All right, guys, so I was right. Based on the scale, this is $99. So, yeah, love it, but not today. I have to see if I can find one. Really like that. So obviously, I have a very young version. Um, this is a seedling that I found uh, from a seller on Etsy. These are kind of hard to find, actually. Um, but I was so excited to find find this guy. Actually, it wasn't Etsy, it was eBay. So I was actually really, really happy to find this plant. Uh, I have the patience to wait uh, versus paying $90. So I'm good with that. I think it's a beautiful specimen. Um, a little bit more about it. It is a Medusa form. It's a Medusa euphorbia. I think I mentioned that. It's a dwarf version. Um, so it doesn't have obviously any spines. You can touch it. It's really easy um, on the fingers, if you will. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, just a, a dwarf form of uh, Medusa euphorbia. And it gets really great color. You saw in the clip from, you know, Cactus uh, Center in California. Um, the nursery there, you saw that specimen and how nice the codex was. So this one's already forming its own little codex, you know, so I'm super excited about it. Um, I have had it on a windowsill for the last two days. I got it a couple of days ago um, and I'm letting it adjust a little bit and I'm gonna slowly introduce it to sun, more sunlight. Um, if it gets more sunlight, then these stems are shorter and thicker. And that's the look that I want for, from it. I don't want it to have longer, skinnier stems like this. So I wanna kind of put it in an environment where it will get more sun, so it will, get the, it will have the growth habit that I'm looking for. But yeah, just popped on to share this beauty super excited about adding it to my collection. I've had uh, Medusa's, um, Medusa form Euphorbias um, in the past. I actually lost a very nice one maybe a year ago. Um, so I've had a couple of them actually, but I don't have any right now. This is um, the first one I've added. And again, I fell in love with this in California. I was like, wow, because I love codex plants. If you haven't watched any of my codex videos, I highly recommend. I think I actually have a playlist so you can catch up on my codex plants that I have. But I really do enjoy codex plants and I just think this is an adorable plant. So drop a comment down below if you have this particular one, the Pugniformis, um, and let me know how yours is growing, the type of growth habit that it has. Um, and if you have any med medusoids in your collection, let me know. 
I know some of you do, so I really love these plants. And euphorbias in general, actually. I, I like euphorbias, so yeah. Just wanted to share my new acquisition with you guys. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this type of content. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. Turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload new videos, which is, um, I would say, quite frequently. So you don't want to miss out on that. I Also, I haven't talked about it in a long time, but I do have a membership for Cacti on White. So I think I have three different tiers. So I'm going to do some special things for folks that join the membership. So highly recommend that as well. And um, I'm going to be looking into doing some merch or t-shirt or something like that for with Cacti on White. I had a, a t-shirt that I tested a while back and I really liked it and I got good feedback. So I might get a couple of those made in different sizes and send those out to folks in the membership. So yeah, um, again, don't forget to subscribe, you know, share my videos with all your planted friends and family really helps me out. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.